Hey, welcome to another project for Java 2. And this we're going to call Assignment 6. We're going to explore a project that does something with the equals method and the toString method. And so we'll be doing overriding of methods that are built into Java. So you can see that I'm here in the Eclipse program. I'm going to New Project and choose Java Project. I'm going to call this thing Assignment 6. In Assignment 6, we're going to create some classes and then override their methods for string to string and another one called equals. So let's create the uh, classes first of all. Let's, I'm going to create main program and then create a person class inside of it. So we got main program running. You've seen that before. And now we're going to create a class called person. For person, let's just give it a couple of properties called first name and last name. So I'm going to use the generation tools for making constructors and getters and setters. So take a look through my code here. You can see the constructor and then you can see the getters and setters below. Now let's uh, save this and switch over to the main program. I'm going to show you a problem. Let's say I want to print out a person. So I create a first person, it's called me, and if I were to, to print this to the blog, I would try to print myself. All right, let's see what happens here. So when I run and print me, I get this thing here called system six person at, and then I get this funny looking number. I would imagine that this is some kind of a memory address. I asked to print the object called me, which is a person, and person is stored in memory. However, that's not what I expected. I expected to see my name. And so what I need now is a toString method. So the goal here now is instead of printing the memory address for my person object, I want to print the actual first and last name put together. So let's go back into the person here and I'm going to override a method. So here's the method I'm going to override. It is public string and then the method is called toString. So let's take a look at the compiler error. Something's underlined in red. It says you created a method and it has a return type of string and you haven't returned anything. So yeah, I will add the return statement and there it is, return. And it's going to have to return something. So let's uh, have a string. Now I want to return the first name and the last name. So I could do it like this. I could say, uh, we could say this dot first name or we could say get first name this dot get last name so I could use get first name because I have a getter or I think I could just type in first name either one will work the reason why this will work is because I'm inside of the class and even though it says private this uh, method belongs to the class so either of those types will work so I've got a new two string method so let's try and print this again and now I get Shad Sluter instead of that funny looking address. Let's say you wanted to have more than one type of two strings. Let's say I copy and paste this and add a parameter into the two string. And I'm going to say a Boolean. And then I'm going to say ordered. And if I have a true in here, I want to do first name first. So I'm going to put in an if statement and return something different if the ordered is true then if it is false so you can see the order is reversed so now if I come back into my print statement so I can go into the uh, variable in here called me and dot to string and you can see I have two options now I have an overloaded method one that has a true false so let's say I'm gonna say true and then the next one I'm going to copy and paste change this to false and then the third, I'm just going to leave it as nothing. So the two strings should be the default. Let's run and see what we get. So first is Shad Sluter. So true means ordered by first name. Sluter Shad is false. So that's ordered by last name. And then the default is the parameters, or no parameters, two string. So that's just a review from the previous lesson. We can overload, we can have two different types of two strings.